and welcome to my video tutorial about manipulating the data um, in VFR flight version 2 uh, so basically since this version you can uh, you can <coughs> edit uh, all the data within your local database you can export it to XML format import it exchange data etc etc um, so uh, first things first uh, before you start you would uh, probably like to know how to um, back up your existing database so the neat feature about VFR flight is that it keeps the local base in one uh, folder uh, DB folder within the main directory so to pack up this all you need to do is just to copy it control C and pass, paste it control V uh, yeah, so here is the copy and this is basically the backup so to revert that you just delete this and rename it this back okay so that was the first thing uh, the second thing is that since this is like the first version of this feature of this import export uh, thing uh, so um, the, um, the interface uh, sometimes could not be very user friendly and sometimes you would get some uh, unexpected errors or something like this so just to track them uh, it's uh, it's best to run VFR flight in debug mode so this is this command that you need to execute and then you would get more information uh, logged to your file VFR flight log over here so if something weird happens just edit this file go to the end and just look for some errors over here uh, and then if you have some problems just don't hesitate to contact me uh, just mail me or write me on Facebook or on whatever channel you want I will be sure to reply you back uh, of course I, I would improve this in the next uh, versions to be more more user friendly uh, okay so mm, that was the first thing so now how to edit your data okay so I think the uh, best thing to learn is just to uh, export some part of the data to a file and just see what the structure of this so to see this go to tools and export VFR flight XML data now select a file example one and select export data from region okay overwrite yes now select just track the selected area select wait for a while until it finishes okay success and now if you open this in some text editor you would get your data here I had this already open that's why it asked me to reload it yes okay so this is the data that I, that I exported from the file as you can see you have here here VFR points navigates routes points airspace boundaries etc everything um, and Starting from the mm, first things, uh, it would be uh, delete tags. So what you have here is seven types of delete tags for seven types of objects. So basically when you import data from this file, uh, program just first executes those delete tags and only then uh, it imports the data itself so if you uh, 
now import this file it would basically replace existing data because at first it would delete the old one from this region and then it would insert the data for this region the new data okay so here uh, for every tag you specify some criteria this is latitude range longitude range but it could be uh, mixed and also you don't have to provide them at all you can do something like this providing latitude from without the upper boundary or you can also delete all navates in this way just put delete navate tag itself or for example uh, specify ident kilo mike india so it would delete all the vors with this ident of course, there could be multiple VORs with this name, so it's best to maybe mix them with latitude range. Yeah, but basically that is the point of this delete text. Mm. Okay, so how now how to change the data? So I think it's pretty logical. So you just, for example, want to change name. Let's change it to something better with better name. Mm. Maybe Dainsk Lukash Kulasek Airport, for example. Uh, yes, and as you can see here, you have all the data um, that is available in the database. Uh, and let's say we'll edit one of these VFR points. Let's change this November one for look, just the name. Uh, save it, and that's all. Okay, so now I want to import this data here. Select example one, import. Now it asks me what should I do with existing data. So if I press erase and overwrite, it would delete all my previous data and only those data from XML file would exist afterwards. So I don't want to do that. I want to append or replace data. Now just wait a while until it finishes. Okay, we have success. And okay. <clears throat> here you have the look uh, VFR point. I just changed its name. And the airport is here that I changed is Gdańsk Lukasz Kulasek Airport, so the name got changed. Okay, so maybe let's do something else. Uh, let's move this VOR to some other place. Golf Zulu Delta. So let's say we would move it somewhere here, maybe here. Okay, so. Uh, I need to find the coordinates for this, but it's very easy now because all I have to do is right click here and just select copy position to clipboard. Now I can choose from three types of format. Um, this is most commonly used in this XML, so I will choose that. And I want to move this. This is this uh, VOR that I want to move. So I delete the old position and control V to paste the new position and maybe just change the name. So this is going to be Lima Uniform Kilo. And the name would be of course Lukash. Okay, so this is all. I'm going to import this like the previous one append or replace yes and wait okay so as you can see I have moved this old VR from here to here now it works perfectly the same way that all other words so I can add it to the root here, if I press create for radials, yes, I can do it. 
uh, or it appears in the details for the airport as nearby Navate. Yes. Okay. Mm. So basically that's all how to manipulate data. So as you can imagine uh, now with this VFR uh, XML format you can exchange the data but you could also if you have some mm, some skills programming skills you could write a script just to rewrite the data you want into this format and then import it to VFR flight um, also it's easier to exchange data between the users of VFR flight so I hope that we could create some kind of community that someone could create a um, part of data for its for his region or her region and then uh, exchange it etc uh, okay so um, I think that would be it for this video if you have any questions uh, please write comments below and uh, the release of the version 2 is very near I think even this week so stay tuned thank you for watching and bye